Hey guys, this is iChappy. In this video, I am going to tell you about some interesting things about Skyblock that you may or may not know. I'll be talking about smelting Necron handles, extremely rare Skyblock items, and even how Skyblock players almost destroyed the Bedwars community. But before we start, it has come to my attention that many of you are not subscribed. To fix that, smash the subscribe button with your forehead, and without further ado, let's begin. As you may already know, Hypixel has an appreciation system, in which players who report game-breaking bugs and glitches get rewarded with a special item in return. This item is called a Game Breaker. They are pretty rare and expensive, they are only given out for the most dangerous game-breaking bugs, such as dupes or those that can crash the server or harm other players. But a group consisting of 5 players went above and beyond. Simple Origin, Inhumanly, Time Dio, John Wick, and Pidgeacle reported more than 20 dupes at once to Miniclun, making him cry. For that they got a very special item, a Game Annihilator, a step up from a Game Breaker. There is only one Game Annihilator in existence, and it's priceless. You can see it with your own eyes on Time Dio's island in his glitched item museum. Personally, I have no idea how someone can find 20 dupes. But according to Inhumanly, one of the people who got the Game Annihilator, and also my guildmaster, finding dupes is not as hard as it may seem. He says that they take about an hour of trial and error to find one, but also the knowledge of how dupes originate contribute to their speed. Miniclune is one of the most famous admins working on Skyblock. As of general knowledge, he has at least 4 old Minecraft accounts, which are Megaclune, Magiclune, Netherclune and Memeclune. All of them have the admin rank on the Hypixel server, so at some point they were probably used for testing some server features. But most of them aren't used very often today, except for one. Megaclune is used to test new skins for Skyblock NPCs and items, which multiple times leaked the updates long before they were out. For example, how it happened with Ferocity Enrichments. Also, this server I'm using is called Cowshed. It's a Discord server that constantly monitors Miniclune's accounts and checks for skin changes. When a skin change is detected, it notifies its members about the leak. The server also has some other neat features, but that's not the topic of today's video. If you have tried shooting a sea creature with a bow, you probably failed miserably, because Skyblock mechanics disallow players from damaging sea creatures with bows. But it's not the interesting fact itself. As many of you could have noticed by now, Hypixel admins are pretty bad at balancing stuff, so when they were making a prismarine bow, they probably forgot that bows don't do damage to sea creatures. A prismarine bow is a bow that is intended specifically for killing sea creatures, because of its ability which gives 300% damage buff against squids, guardians and elder guardians. Also the impaling enchant which increases damage against sea creatures is also completely useless in bows for the same reason. Most Hypixel items are protected from being accidentally placed, because it would obviously be a disaster if you could lose a spirit scepter or a tier boost core if you accidentally clicked the ground. The reason why you can place some items on the ground for a short period of time is because they're vanilla items like flowers or heads with a changed lore. Admins haven't thought of every scenario where you can lose your item. For example, if you put an item that represents a vanilla flower, for example a spirit scepter or an XP share core, into a flower pot and try to get your item out of there, it will turn into a regular flower. Also, it is possible to place a weird tuba by shift-clicking a chest, and some people went as far as using a Necron handle as fuel in a furnace. Frag running is a strategy of doing dungeon runs without a party. Sometimes it is used by beginners to learn secrets, grind combat XP or grind bloodroom drops, such as Diamantis handles. But Skyblock does not allow players to queue into dungeons without a party. For floors 4 to 7, the party must have at least 2 members to get into a dungeon. So smart Skyblock players came up with a solution. They made Fragrant bots, bots that would join your party, giving you just enough time to join a dungeon and then leave the party, allowing the players to trick the Hypixel system. The Fragrant bots were mostly hosted by top guilds for a select group of players. Also, Fragrunting bots were not allowed by Hypixel, so they would often get banned. Other players also wanted the access to Fragrunting bots, so they found out that the Bedwars community had stat bots. Bots that would function in a similar way to Fragrunting bots. They would join a party, scan all the players' stats and send them in the chat. Those bots were used by Bedwars players to check the stats of people in their party. But Skyblock players found another use for it. 
First, it was not known to many people and personally I was one of the first people to discover this method. But then, the word spread around the Skyblock community. The Bedwars stat bots became overloaded. The bots were getting hundreds of parties per minute, causing them to send thousands of messages per day. As a result, the bots would get flagged and then banned or muted. This almost completely destroyed the Bedwars stat bots. All of them were banned or muted and thus were not usable. Many players who were using the bots were not in the Bedwars stats discord and were not even aware of the problem. And until this day, the Bedwars stats community was not able to fully restore their functionality. And this is all for today, thank you for watching the video, if you enjoyed it, please like the video and smash the subscribe button. See you next time!